One of the unique features of the two-stroke crosshead diesel engine is the stuffing box. The stuffing box separates the clean crankcase from the scavenge air spaces, which contain impurities from the combustion process. MAN B&W Diesel's continuous research and development program ensures that the most recent technologies are incorporated in new engine components. To ensure security and reliability, we recommend that you always use original MAN B&W Diesel spare parts in your engine. HECO International cooperate closely with MAN B&W Diesel in the continuous development of the stuffing box. The updating of spare parts mean that engines already in service will also benefit from the improvements derived from such development. One example of this development is the lamella type scraper rings. The Preston lamellas are movable, which allows them to adapt easily and effectively to the piston rod. If the solid type scraper rings, or if the lamella type scraper rings with small drain bores are installed in the stuffing box, we recommend that they be replaced by the MC design of scraper rings. Normally, it is only the lamellas themselves that need to be replaced during overhauls. Therefore, spare parts costs are less than with the previous design of scraper rings. Furthermore, the MC design of lamella type scraper rings feature improved drainage facilities and reduced weight. The service condition of the stuffing box is influenced by several factors. The condition of the piston rod, the piston ring function, the qualities of the fuel oil and cylinder oil, the matching of piston rod hardness and spring tension. The stuffing box is so designed that it has the same time between overhauls as the piston. The lamellas are normally due for replacement at each overhaul while the ceiling rings normally only need to be replaced at every other overhaul. The normal drain oil amounts for the various engine sizes are indicated by these figures. If the drain oil amount has increased to twice the normal figure, the piston rod should be reconditioned and undersized rings fitted. Furthermore, we recommend that the piston rod be hardened and that the MC type of scraper ring and new springs be installed. We also recommend that the stuffing box housing be modified by introducing additional sets of rings and new drain bores. Please contact MAN B&W Diesel if you require further information. The full modification will reduce the drain oil amount to 5 to 10 litres per 24 hours. If the O-ring of the stuffing box housing cannot be used again, fasten a new O-ring to the piston rod above the stuffing box housing. Mount the work table around the piston rod. Remove and discard the O-ring or, if it is intact and is to be reused, fasten it to the piston rod. Loosen and remove the assembling bolts and the fitted bolts. Remove the stuffing box halves. Do not use a chisel to separate the halves as this will damage the contact faces. If the halves are difficult to separate, facilitate future overhauls by making threaded holes for dismantling screws. We recommend that the features of the MC design be introduced in the stuffing boxes of GFCA, GB and GBE engines. Push the segments together so that the total ring end clearance can be measured at one point. Measure and record the clearances and compare them with the wear limits given in the instruction book. Remove the segments and keep them together in the same position as when they are fitted in the stuffing box.
clean and inspect any segments which are to be used again. We recommend that the MC design of scraperings be installed so as to improve service conditions, reduce the amount of drain oil and to reduce spare parts costs. Check the surface condition and the diameter of the piston rod. Record the results, for example on this inspection report which is available from MAN B&W Diesel. We recommend that the piston rod be hardened so that a higher spring tension can be used. Check the calibration of the springs and check that the spring tension matches the piston rod hardness. If springs with higher tension are to be installed, contact MAN B&W Diesel to obtain updated pages for your instruction book. Lubricate the piston rod with molybdenum disulfide. Assemble all ring units, making sure that the markings on the various segments match each other. Remove any burrs which may have been caused during the measuring of the ring end clearance from the end of the segment. We recommend that the MC type of scraper rings be installed. To facilitate the mounting of springs with higher tension, cross your arms before connecting the hooking tools. Make sure that the ring end clearance is evenly distributed all the way round. Do not use Teflon rings as abrasive particles may stick to the soft material and scratch the piston rod. Always use original MAN B&W diesel spare parts. Lift all the rings up the piston rod and use the stuffing box halves to adjust the rings so that they fit properly in the grooves. Push one of the stuffing box halves into place around the rings and measure the vertical clearance with a feeler gauge. Mount the second stuffing box half and lubricate and insert the bolts. We recommend that self-locking nuts be used instead of using lock washers to lock the nuts. To ensure that the self-locking nuts are correctly tightened, measure the torque required to turn the nuts themselves and add this torque to the value given in your instruction book. Finally, tighten the nuts to the required torque and mount the O-ring in the groove in the housing. Introducing the features of the MC design in the stuffing boxes and piston rods of the FCA, GB and GBE engines will considerably improve the service condition reduce the amount of drain oil and reduce the costs of spare parts. 
please contact MAN B&W Diesel if you require. Piston Rod Inspection Report Forms and updated instruction book pages.